Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. This problem involves solving an isosceles triangle. Angle D is the vertex angle, and angle E and angle F are measured, as you can see, in algebraic terms. Find the measure of each angle. Well, the first idea, of course, is to make sure you mark up what they give you. And it looks like measure of angle E is 2x plus 40. Measure of angle F is 3x plus 22 find the measure of each angle. What do you know about those angles? Well, vertex angle implies that we have an isosceles triangle. So those base angles have to be congruent. Let's write an equation, setting them equal to each other. And now we solve for x. You go ahead and try. Did you get x equals 18? All right, now we need to plug that in there and try to figure out what the actual value of the angles are. So, 2x plus 40 is really 2 times 18 plus 40. 36 plus 40 equals 76 degrees. So, one base angle has to be 76 degrees. The other base angle has to be 76 degrees. What would the vertex angle be? That's right, all three angles add up to 180. So, we subtract 180 minus 76 minus 76, and we get 28 degrees. The three angles are 76, 76, and 28. Alright, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. Alright, study hard and take care.